It's a life-changing experience. It's amazing. Can't say enough about it. You spend so long campaigning for something and you sort of get on auto autopilot sometimes, so it's nice to come back and reconnect to what you're really doing it for. And they're not just like characters in a movie. These are, these are real people and this is a real issue. So it's good to get that, that, that flesh experience and get dirty and get sweaty and remember how, remember what you're fighting for. Like every single day was just something completely different and something pretty awesome. A trip like this will challenge every essence of your being. Yeah, I've been dirtier and sweatier than I've ever been, um, but it's been amazing. I had no idea about the destruction of palm oil. I had no how, idea how extensive it was. Seeing the devastation for the first time was very, very confronting and upsetting made me angry. The way um, we live our lives in um, you know, so-called developed countries is so not sustainable and we are having a, a very major and direct impact on people in other parts of the world. Just driving through that portion of the forest where, where the plantations just started and you could feel the heat, you could sense basically the the death of the land. When we were in, inside Panjang, that was where it really hit me. And even now, it's kind of just thinking about it. Sorry. Oh, the Dayaks are just, they're such a, a beautiful um, group of people. Their hospitality and, and just their way of life is something that's really special. And the people are just beautiful. The kids are just so happy. When we think of Western culture, we think, oh, if we don't have a big TV, if we don't have a big house, we're not good enough. These people all have small little homes, but they're not lacking in anything. They don't have much in material goods. They don't really have that many changes in their diet, in the way they do things, and yet, they are happier than most people will ever be. They are amazing people. They they stand for for, for the forest, for the culture, for the future, of course, for their life. Moving forward, I think we've just got to continue supporting the, the local people and the, the amazing work that they're doing. Um, it's been a year and a half since I was here and in such a short amount of time they've come leaps and bounds. For me, this trip really clarified the role that tourism can play in a community that requires uh, external support and empowerment and then the role that that community can play internally within its own context and as a model for other villages or anyone really. The, the most important thing on earth is forest. If there's no forest, no future.